let us pray to our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Well, now, are there some joys that we wish to share? I am joyful to have these beautiful yellow, and I think they are irises. I'm not certain, and Linda's not certain of their name either. But when she first walked in, I thought they were daffodils. But they're <laughs> definitely not daffodils. I thought they were Yeah. Day lilies? Day lilies? No. The Master Gardener down at Tulsa Hill over said they are, they are a relative of the lily family. Yes. However, they are not any lily that he knows. I bought the whole plant. They're about this tall. <coughs> it does And they overrun my yard. So oh, you poor thing. It's fine. I'm going to be digging a lot of the bulbs up. I mean, they oh. just keep going. And so going. what are you doing with the bulbs after you dig? I'm going to bring here. You're going to share? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to share. I mean, how overloading. And the thing is, once they kind of die, if you pull it off, they put it down, then there's another one. And then oh, another one. Yeah. No. Uh, the joy of plenty. Yes. Well, there is also another joy. Yesterday was the Red Buck Parade in the city of Clear Lake. Mm -hmm. And our Girl Scout troop, after much hard work, won first place. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. So that yeah. is indeed something to be joyful for. <laughs> Any other joys that we wish to share? Audrey. Praying for two years old? She's yeah, two. Yep, two-year-old Ariana had her surgery and she is doing really well. Yes, yes. Other things that we are joyful about? Well, I'm joyful that each of the churches in Lake County Methodist churches have a pastor. This is the first Sunday for Reverend Shannon after 17 years at uh, United Christian Parish that she has two different churches that she goes to. So our hearts, are we're joyful for both those congregations, but our hearts go out to her because she's going to be running, running, running. Also, um, they're looking for volunteers with Camp Noah. They're down in Middletown. It's for children who've experienced tragedy. Um, they first started, it's with Lutheran Ministries. They first started this camp. It's sort of like Bible school, but only it's more intense for people who for youngsters who've been through trauma. They started with Hurricane Katrina and then they've gone to disaster after disaster where communities have experienced great loss and done these Lutheran ministry um, camps. When is it? It is the, ele uh, the 18th through the 22nd of July. There is a training, it's a one week training. It goes from 8.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. The Middletown Church is providing breakfast, two snacks, and lunch for 75 people for those five days. The Clear Lake Methodist Church has donated their parsonage for that week so that if people are coming from out of state or out of county, they have some place to stay, but then they have to have their transportation to Middletown and back. It's done in conjunction with the charter school, which is right next, right across the street from the Methodist Church in Middletown. But they're hoping to have 75 youngsters go through this, and they have a child psychologist who is there on staff every day throughout the whole uh, curriculum. But it's, you know, many times children don't overtly exhibit the trauma or the stress that they're going through. But there are things happening, there are changes, and, and this program is a wonderful one that has received uh, nationwide uh, acclaim for its way in which it handles uh, youngsters through stress. It is free to everyone who participates um, in this program. 
However, churches are making contributions. The Middletown Church, it costs $25,000 for one week. And Middletown Church has donated $7,500 seven uh, from funds that they have received for fire victims or for, for the Valley Fire Recovery. So they've donated those funds. Any other joys? Then let us go forward within our service. Uh, Mike is going to be reading our scripture which is uh, Luke, if you want to look along, read along. It's the 10th chapter of Luke, uh, verses 1 through 20. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals, and do not greet anyone on the road. When you enter a house, first say, Peace to this house. If a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. If not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking whatever they give you, for the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcome, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them, the kingdom of God is near you. But when you enter a town and are not welcome, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that sticks to our feet we wipe off against you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be lifted up to the skies? No, you will go down to the depths. He who listens to you, listens to me. He who rejects you, rejects me. But he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. The seventy-two returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to, go, and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. That sends our reading this morning. May God bless it and bless we who hear it. <clears throat> 